it's going good. Uh, we trained yesterday, which is good. Um, a little sad that we couldn't train today, but the weather, it is what it is. And uh, well, we do have practice tomorrow too, when we can go more through our Saturday's game. And walk us through, I guess, the thought process um, uh, when you're playing OL Reign. Obviously, there was a really exciting game earlier this year between the two teams. Uh, what do you think about them and, and what are you expecting on Saturday? Well, they are top team. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, and uh, well, hopefully we can get three points home. But yeah, it's a far away. So we need to focus on that, too. And yeah, it's going to be a good game, I think. John, go ahead. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Ellie, the team has been performing defensively very well recently. I believe you've only allowed one goal in your last four games. So against, as you said, a top team like OL Reign, what do you think would be some of the keys to continue that defensive success? Uh, yeah, we've been really good with that, and especially like block defending and uh, good uh, in the box too. So uh, that's important that we can uh, keep building on that and keep our defensive uh, shape, which has been really great lately. And hopefully from that, we can also do a better build up and get even better chances and score from those. Becky, go ahead. Obviously, a, a big storyline with this match is the number of players that are going to be missing for the World Cup, more of them for the rain for this game, and then a couple of them for racing. How has that changed or impact preparation, impacted preparations for this match? Um, of course, it's going to affect a little because, uh, for example, Sav and uh, Ari are a big part of our midfield, and Sav has been involved in almost every goal we've scored so uh it is a big piece for us but yes like you said they have also lost their good good players and uh, but now it's important that we can fill those gaps and uh do good even though we're missing our uh national team players and then finally for me with the season over halfway over and racing is in eighth place how much of this is a, a must win must get three points game for racing yeah, well, it's important to uh, get three points because we want to uh, keep fighting for the top six position because we want to get to the playoffs. So I'm never going to say it's a must, must win because that's a big pressure, but um, it will be good to get three points. I have a question from uh, Kent Spencer from uh, WHAS. He was curious how you think the team changes tactically at all with the players departing. I know you kind of touched on that, but just how, how is it different, I guess, uh, with the players you do have um, in town? Um, I wouldn't say we change so much tactically. Um, we will have, uh, of course, different type of players, uh, which will bring uh, different strength. And that way, uh, our game plan can be different. But I wouldn't say that we change so much tactically because everyone has been practicing the same way, even though they haven't been playing. Any other questions for Ellie? Abby, you got anything for your teammate here? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Any mm -hmm. questions for Ellie? Okay, Ellie, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. And we'll switch over to 